So you get to decide. Was this hall poo poo? Or was it roses? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome! My name is Veronica and I'm a part-time reseller and a full-time educator. I'm also a mom of a small child, he's asleep right now, so I get to film my three-part haul from the Goodwill outlet, also known as the Goodwill bins, and if you haven't watched the first two videos, go watch those. You can watch this one first, it's fine, the order does not matter. Um, in the first video I talk a little bit more about how my Goodwill outlet works and what the Goodwill outlet is and why it's called the bins and how much items cost. But just for quick reference, you pay by the pound and my average cost of goods for this haul per item was $1.17. That includes shoes and everything else. Showed you shoes in the last video, I only got three pairs, but if you're into shoes, go watch that video. It's linked in the description. So is the first one. Okay, I'm trying to get these in in 20 minutes or less. I'm thinking the second one was a little bit longer, but anyway, welcome back. So, last portion of this haul. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Okay, first item I got to show you is just a plain little black sort of, sp not a sports bra, just a comfort bra. It does not have any padding or any wires. Uh, so it's just kind of like a, bralette type of deal. Where did the brand go? Oh, there it is. Picked it up because A, it's Laura Ashley and B, it's a 3X. So plus size bras, bralettes, that sort of thing does really well for me. Um, I like to sell Cacique bras, Torrid bras, all that good stuff. So I'm hoping this is going to do well too. Okay, this you've seen in <laughs> the thumbnail. I did do need to sweater shave it. Um, this item I... Whoa, my lighting just got really weird. Sorry. Also, okay, let's just get it over with. <laughs> this guy was new with tags, which doesn't mean anything at the bins because they're all in the same pit of general nastiness. But I just had to pick him up. I did disinfect him and put him in a dryer for a while and scrubbed him clean. Um, it's a poop emoji pillow in case you didn't pick up on that and I just had to pick this up because I live with two guys, my son and my husband, and I knew they were going to get a kick out of it and it's already becoming such a little inside joke in our house. Yesterday I was laying down and I said I need a pillow and my son, who's four, goes, how about the poop mommy? <laughs> so anyway, we get some poop. We get a poo emoji in this house got it from the bins. They did weigh this. It probably cost like 30 cents or so. Anyway, they do weigh hard goods. So let's just get that out of the way because it was already staring at me over there. So you get to decide. Was this haul poo poo or was it roses? Anyone catching the outcast reference? Anyone in their late 30s? Anyway, if you're still here, thank you so much. This is a hoodie by a brand I know nothing about. Um, it's a white hoodie with a kangaroo pocket has this rose embroidery front and on the sleeves I could not say no to this because it's absolutely gorgeous it is white and I swore a long time ago I would not pick up white or light colored wow what is with my lighting white or light colored items from the bins because there's always something going on and sure enough this had some discoloration and stuff going on but i for some reason was like this is going to be my project this and one of the jackets that i showed in the first video which you should watch if you haven't seen it um so i did soak this in oxyclean i also used the oxyclean stick the stain remover stick i can um insert a picture somewhere of what that looks like and I think all the spots came out. They weren't really stain stains, but they were like discolorations and things. So I think everything came out. It does need a good sweater shave. The brand, I should probably tell you. Pretty sure it's a junior's because it's an extra large, but I don't think this would fit me. Uh, the brand is Reflex. Wow, okay. Here we go. Reflex. Sure, I don't know. But based on style, I can probably get 20 bucks for it, right? So loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Could not leave it behind, even though it's white. Okay, all right, this next item, I feel like I have a ton of these vests from different brands in my closet already. This one's from Columbia. Just a good little fleece vest. Good shape overall. It's like a charcoal gray. 
this is a size large it doesn't say men's or women's sometimes Columbia items say that why is my lighting getting weird when I look down that's very strange um, yeah it's just a full zip little vest yeah I have one of those from LL Bean I have one from Vineyard Rhines and I think they're all a size large so y'all take your pick if you're looking for a vest like that if you're looking for a vest for your baby girl I got this for you it's by Kooji which I find Kooji I just have not found a grandpa sweater by Kooji yet a girl can dream but this was so cute and it like it weighs nothing it's just a little puffer with ugh, it's hitting me in the face and it's a size 24 month here's the other tag how cute is this I mean if you're into bougie stuff for your child if that's your jam maybe you want to pay me 15 bucks for it okay cool okay uh, let's just get these out of the way because I already showed them in the last video um, but except I showed the this like golden brown what is this color mustard a mm, little bit darker than mustard version of this it's a pair of Fashion Nova I know corduroys and they're flared and they have a button fly I think they're really cute and I was mentioning this in the previous video they do give me free people vibes so yeah these have a tiny little bit of puckering or the start of puckering in the back here uh, I don't know if you guys can see it's really just this little spot there so I don't know Fashion Nova does not go for much anyway oh yeah I had to sit down for this third part because I'm getting tired it's like 10 o'clock 10 30 oh gosh all right this next one the brand is Bowery Supply and Co and I picked it up based on style because it says California Republic which I think will sell just fine it's a size medium this charcoal gray sweatshirt yep I mean if I can squeeze myself into a medium at some point I would keep this for myself too okay this one I really really like I found this towards the end it is Adidas or as Americans would say Adidas it's a German brand so trust me when I tell you it's Adidas anyway shout out to Wendy from reseller Wendy she has a YouTube channel and she recently did an unboxing where she got some Adidas and she got the pronunciation right and she gave me a shout out so Wendy you're one of the good ones anyway it's just you know little track jacket I think it's a large pretty sure it's a men's large and has the tree foil so I haven't looked up comps but if this doesn't sell I might just wear it my husband might wear it even though I think it's too small for him he he tried to claim and I'm like it's like two sizes too small for you anyway <laughs> um, oh I should mention that I did pick up a bunch of clothes for my husband and for my child and for myself I just factored all of that in with the whole cost of goods I didn't take that out and weigh how much they weighed and then did the cost of goods for the rest of the items because I think it all evens out so dollar and 17 for everything including the items we got for ourselves okay this next one is Athleta size medium I hardly ever find Athleta at the bins these do need a good sweater shave but they were so cute can you see oh yeah it has this laser cut going on has the logo and then this what is this snake gator alligator right type of print y'all I'm horrible with animal print don't even do these have glitter no they don't I'm hallucinating um, they do have the laser cut at the leg as well they're not full length which a lot of people say if it's not full length don't even bother picking up any leggings I don't know I'll still sell these they're such a cute style I hope I can find the style number so that I can look up a stock photo they are from fall 17 so I will try my best to find one for these because they're just they're really cute I did like this laser cut detail specifically I feel like I'm talking a lot slower on this third video I'm sorry whoa stuff's falling oh but we don't have a ton left oh that's exciting although I do have some more stuff downstairs okay uh, right next to the uh, Athleta was this pair of Fabletics and I know what I've been saying about Fabletics it doesn't sell for me I shouldn't pick it up yada 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 but it's the bins 
it has a style name, Pure Lux, and it has the pull tag and the size, okay? Those are things I don't usually find in my Fabletics. I just find the logo and then I'm left to my own devices. Other than that, they're just a plain full length pair of leggings, nothing too exciting going on. I'm pretty sure they're meant to be folded over in some fashion, I don't know. I have to look it up, Pure Lux by Fabletics. This one I also have not looked up and it's very substantial, but I just, I, <laughs> I could not leave this behind. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Uh, it's a reversible, let me zip this up real quick. Okay, it's a reversible jacket has Alaska embroidery on this side and it has it on the inside as well. It does have a hood. The hood comes off and the brand is somewhere in the pocket which is usually the case with reversible items. In case you didn't know that, check the pockets on vests and jackets and such. The brand is Pack Blue. It's designed in the USA. I don't know where it's made in China. <laughs> okay, so maybe not vintage. I don't know. But in any case, it's very nice and substantial and thick. And to be honest, sorry, that was loud. I might even wear this. I have no affiliation or connection to Alaska whatsoever, but somebody might. Uh, has the embroidery on the inside as well. It's just really nice. And it's on the inside, it's very soft. So, well, not inside, it's reversible, but one side is very soft, fabricy. The other side is like a rain repellent, probably. Anyway, this probably weighs a good two pounds, so this definitely brought up the cost of goods, but that's okay because I got all these little flimsy Fashion Nova dresses back here, so it's all good. Okay, I think I have one more item and then I need to run downstairs and get the remaining two that are still dry. Okay, so this one is more Columbia. You can probably not see that at all. Here we go. You know what Columbia looks like. Why am I bothering? Uh, this is a size 16 slash 48, which is the European size. I just, I've never seen that in Columbia. And it's this lightweight, kind of like a, not a jogger, but what are these called? Hiking pants maybe? I don't know. Um, does have a zipper pocket on the side here. They are the Omni Shield Advanced Repellency. They have a drawstring. They have all kinds of stuff. <sighs> Honestly, I might keep these for myself. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll go hiking. Who knows? Okay, gonna pause this, get the other remaining items, and then we're gonna wrap this up because your girl's tired. All right, kids. Three more items, and then we're done. And of course, I did not assemble this one. At this point, I'm just really tired. Wow, with this lighting, man. At this point, I'm just really tired of trying to see if the lighting changes. At this point, I'm just really tired of hearing myself speak. So we are about to be done. Okay, so I have another overall or short all. I don't even know how to say that. Just a little distressed, kind of like a roll up style little pair of overalls and I think based on style this is gonna do just fine the brand is nothing too exciting honestly um, I've seen it before I've never picked it up it's Bershka I think that's how you say it and these are a size large Bershka girl so I don't know if these are juniors large they might be because I think that well they could be a regular large I'll provide measurements as always they have some distressing Based on style, I think maybe 15 bucks. We'll try it. Okay, this next brand is a brand I've picked up before. It's a kid's brand. It's called Heartstrings Baby. Might be vintage. Okay, how are we showing this? I'll, I'll insert a picture. I'm too tired for this. Uh, it does have Santa on it, so it's probably not gonna sell right now. A little bit of a dog embroidery down here. Is that a dog? A wolf? I don't know what this is. Anyway, it's a pair of little kids overalls, corduroy, and I do have like another sweater by Heartstrings Baby, and it might be the same size. I'm not sure. This is an 18 month, um, but I also have a pair of kids overalls that's very similar to this by a different brand, 
and if they're the same size I might just lock them up and take the other listing down we'll see they were just too cute to leave behind last item last item god I'm exhausted that was long okay uh, we got more Bowden and it's a kids slash older kids item so it's not mini Bowden I don't know how to show this so that it will focus anyway it's Bowden it says 14 years so it's a kids teenager pair of corduroys in blue is that a stain I hope not uh, it's just like a drawstring pair elastic waist does have pockets did not reach in there yet but I washed it so no money unfortunately anyway good little pair of Bowden pants I mentioned this earlier I usually never find Bowden at the bins and I found it twice this time around so not mad at that okay you guys so that was part three of the haul don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you watched all three and let me know which portion had the best items like I said I didn't pre-select them in any way I feel like it's gonna be number two because of this beauty if you haven't watched it go watch it also go watch number one video number one so you can see this little jacket here that's a contender also got some jeans in here I'm just saying you gotta watch all three okay and then let me know how I did anything in here that where you're just like no Veronica don't waste your time on this mm -mm. let me know what you felt if you watched part two let me know how you felt about these guys anyway I need to wrap this up Thank you so much for watching and if you've been here every single day and watched every single video thank you so so much for watching um, if you enjoyed yourself and if you kept coming back because you had a good time then please do hit the like button I would really appreciate that and also if you're not subscribed yet feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification because then you'll be notified when I post new videos I try to stick to a schedule but also these videos are coming out at random times so we're trying new things on this channel so yeah let me know if you enjoyed the three-part haul or if you do prefer the full hour just one video I do have hauls for that too I will link them you're welcome <laughs> so again thank you so much you guys for being here I will see you probably next week with a what's sold have a good night if you're watching this at night have a good day if you're watching this in the morning whenever I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.